Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to move your current operating system to another drive. You can easily transfer all your data, including your entire operating system, from one drive to another, whether it's a hard drive or an SSD. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of migrating a Windows 11 installation from a 500GB hard disk drive to a 120GB NVMe SSD. My primary drive is currently a 500GB hard disk drive, so let's connect both drives to the computer and get started with the migration process. Alright, I've connected both storage drives to my computer. Now, open File Explorer and go to this PC and you should see your primary drive along with the newly connected one. If the second drive doesn't appear, first make sure it's properly connected. If it's connected but still not showing, right click on the start menu and select disk management. Once disk management opens, check if the new drive appears as unallocated space. If it does, right click on it, choose new simple volume and follow the on-screen steps by clicking next until the partition is created. After that, return to File Explorer. Your new drive should now be visible. In my case, I have a 465GB drive, which is my current local disk C containing Windows, and I want to clone it to a 120GB NVMe SSD. So, to do that, open your browser and search Disk Genius. Visit the official website diskgenius.com, then click on free download to get the installation file for Disk Genius. Once the download is complete, right click on the file and select open. The setup window will appear and the installation process is quite simple. Choose your preferred language and click OK. Then proceed through the standard installation steps. When the installation finishes, uncheck the box open website and then click finish to open Disk Genius. After Disk Genius open, this is how its interface look like. Very simple, you'll see all the drives connected to your computer listed on the left side. In my case, I have a hard disk drive and a 120GB NVMe SSD drive. To begin migrating your operating system, click on the Tools menu at the top and then select System Migration. Now, it will ask you to select the target partition, which means you need to choose the drive where you want to move your Windows installation. If you have multiple drives connected, make sure to select only the one you want to use as your target. In my case, I only have one target drive connected, so that's the only one showing. Select the target drive and click OK. A warning message will appear stating that all files and partitions on the target disk will be overwritten, so make sure there's no important data on that drive. Click OK to confirm. Next, you can double check your source and target drives to ensure they're correct. Then, select the checkbox that says, when finished, change computer boot sequence, and keep the option, automatically set to boot from migrated target system enabled. This will ensure your computer automatically boots from the new drive once the migration is complete. You can also leave the box at the bottom checked, then click start. You'll receive another prompt about formatting the target disk. Simply click OK. Now, you'll have to choose between two migration options hot migration or reboot to Windows PE environment. Hot migration means your computer stays powered on and Disk Genius will clone your system while Windows is still running. This is the option recommended by Disk Genius. So select the hot migration option because that's what Disk Genius recommends on their website. Once the process starts, just wait for it to finish. It will take some time. When it's complete, you'll see a message confirming completion and asking if you'd like to restart your computer. Click yes to reboot. Your system will restart and boot it from other drive instead of hard disk drive. If everything went well, your system should now boot automatically from the target disk. Now open File Explorer, go to this PC, and you'll see that the C drive is now 120 gigabytes NVMe while the 500GB hard drive remains as the secondary drive. Disk Genius successfully migrated my Windows operating system while it was still running, an impressive feature. 
However, if your system still boots from the original source drive instead of the new one, simply go into your BIOS settings and change the boot order to prioritize the target drive, the one you migrated Windows to. In my opinion, Disk Genius is one of the best free tools available for migrating your operating system to another drive, especially at the time of this recording. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.